Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to my live quilting chat, Tipsy Tuesday. Hey everybody, I'm so happy to be back home and back live with you. I missed you these past couple of weeks, I have to say. Uh, thank you all for being with me here, both live on Facebook and YouTube. So happy to be back and uh, make sure if you're new here or if you've been here for a while, tell us your name and where you're tuning in from in the comments, whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube. Um, it's always fun to see where we're tuning in from. So tonight, this is our 61st show and a show that we've all been waiting for, the Sew Along Show, the first part of our Sew Along. And so I am going to be showing you all about the first part I'm putting that back together. But of course, I'm here to answer all your questions, so make sure you post them in the comments. Hopefully we'll get to them. Of course, we can't get to everybody, but we will try and make it happen. So uh, we had... So my mic, uh, producer says my what mic is weird. Yeah, it's looking good to me. I don't know. Maybe it's my hair covering up my mic. <laughs> that happens. Live TV, everybody. So of course, uh, we love to give you a thumbs up, hearts, whether you're on YouTube or li and like our video and share it if you can. That helps us all. So. Uh, Giveaway at the end. Make sure you stay with us. Stick with us. We both have a live winner for the show, and then we also have a question at the end that you can enter a giveaway. So for our last show, which was three weeks ago, it's been a while. We had a winner, and I asked you the question: What are you looking forward to this weekend? And our winner is Catherine Ann Alto. Congratulations, Catherine. She said, I'll be home on my own. So sewing it is, and what a great weekend that must have been. So congrats, um, Catherine. You have won a $25 gift card to spend in our store. So just make sure you send us a message either on Facebook Messenger or an email, Gudrun at Quill Designs, and we make sure to get that gift card out to you. Um, and that's all digital, so you can go shopping instantly, which is great. So uh, a few things to talk about before getting into the sew along. Um, I was kind of checking and seeing how many people were joining in. It's always hard in the summertime, of course, to uh, engage with people. People are busy and all over. And uh, so I hope everybody's just staying safe. But some fun things. The fun things I got in the mail when I came home. Our vacation was phenomenal. Happy to be back. But of course, I missed that little nugget. I actually just FaceTime my grandson right before the show. He was playing in his little splash pad outside, but I missed him because it was pretty awesome for six days straight to get to spend the morning with him and get some morning cuddles. But some great things to come, come home. home to. Thank you all. I got some cards from you, so that's really special. So thank you for that. This one's from Barbara. And then Cindy uh, sent this really awesome little gift to us. Because remember when I talked about the Father's Day card that, you know, Kobe gave to Mr. Honey Producer? We can never find cards with black dogs, so we always use a black Sharpie. It's kind of a running joke. <laughs> use a black Sharpie to make um, the yellow labs to make them black in the face. So, but uh, Cindy took care of us, and we have a whole bunch of great dog cards, and they're even more phenom phenomenal than anything because they are all just handmade by her and so really really special so um should we show them in the overhead they're so awesome and i wish i had the patience to make cards but these are so cute so thank you so so much i will definitely use those and set some aside for some great occasions but i i just love them i i would just hold on to them i don't know if i they're too pretty to give away so thank you for that Another thing that I have been answering a lot of emails, and so I know that sometimes when I'm answering the same emails on the same topics over and over again, sometimes it's just easier to chat about it here. So I wanted to talk about those of you that have ordered digital products from us. So that means downloadable patterns or eBooks, because now, unfortunately, our Fast and Furious family book, the book that has the bag that we're making today, 
That one is now sold out and out of print, so there's no more actual books, but we have it, of course, as an ebook. So one of the things I always get questions about is um, that you have a certain amount of downloads and you're out of downloads, so you can't access your patterns. So just know when you go into your account on GE Designs and whenever you click on that product, whether it's a pattern or a book, you're actually downloading it. So you are saving it to whatever device you are on. So when you click on it in your account, you're saving it. So every time you do that, you're saving a second copy and a, sec and a third and a fourth and a fifth copy. So instead of always going in there to, to look at your pattern, make sure you look for it on your either computer. If you're on a computer, usually it goes to a folder on your hard drive that's a downloads folder. If you're looking at it on a device, for example, a phone, Android or app or um, uh, Apple phone, it goes to different places. There's usually my files on the Android I know. And uh, one thing you need to have on your phones to be able to access all your files is like a, a, a PDF reader. So for iPhones, usually iBooks is already installed on your phone. So open iBooks and there you can import anything you have downloaded. So uh, just make sure that you don't have to always download again just to look at your pattern. It's probably saved on your device somewhere. So just something to know. Um, love to answer questions on that if you have any questions. But um, if you run out of downloads, if for whatever reason you can't find it or your files got messed up, just let us know and we can add downloads. But you really shouldn't need them because every time you click it, it, it saves to your computer. So, um, another thing I wanted to mention too is the lectures that we have a couple of lectures scheduled for next week. Those of you that missed out on the Stribology Mixology lectures that we scheduled in June, uh, we have this next coming Tuesday, so a week from today at 1 p.m. And then we have Friday, July 31st at 9 a.m. And these are central times. So these you can easily just sign up on the website. Just go on to, go onto the link um, under the in the shop. There's a, a virtual lectures, and you can just purchase your spot and join us for either of those dates. Um, so I wanted to make sure you knew about that. So before I am going to go right into our demo, I just wanted to check it. Oh, it looks like the sound is fixed, huh? Did you fix it? I just switched. He had to switch things around. Okay. I don't notice that stuff. He just does it. So that's good. Um, great, great, great. So it's good that everybody says, yeah, and recommend saving it to your hard drive. And it already does. If you download, it's in your download folder, so it's it should be saved. So great. Um, Melanie says, can you save it to multiple devices? So yes, that's why I have, uh, you have more than just one download. So you can open it on a computer, save it there, and then you can open it on your, uh, on your iPad, iPhone, whatever, and save it there as well. So every time you open it in GE Quilt Designs, it's saving to your device. All right, um, so that's awesome. See if you see anything on the screen. I see it. Oh, I see, oh, that's great. I'm looking at the comments on my phone, so this is so much better, thank you. Um, so, <laughs> So that's awesome. Wanda says, the lecture's wonderful, highly recommend. Great. Uh, Beth says, I saw an old video of you early early on. You were on Quilty with Mary Fonz. It was interesting. Yeah, that was that was a while back. Um, that video, I remember particu in particular because I was in Chicago. I had just ran a an overnight race. So I don't even know how I was awake on camera because I had just stayed up for... Um, 48 hours or so but so for some reason I, <laughs> I was okay and I think I looked okay but uh, crashed pretty much shortly after so I don't really remember much what I said there <laughs> in that show but it was fun to to uh, do that show with her but um, that's great so I think we are uh, oh uh, one question let's do this before before we go into the so along Roxy's asking what are the quilts behind me so the quilt right behind me hanging on the wall is Lexi. That's a 10 inch square pattern. That one I'm, is made with just light and dark squares. I do, did scrappy light and scrappy darks and it doesn't look like it because all my lights were kind of similar. And then in the corner hanging on the ladder is Helena, also done with 
10 inch squares and that one I just pulled out of my collection because I just pulled reds, blacks and lights. And then the runner is from the Stripology 2 book called Strip to be Square, done with one and a half inch strips. And I quilted that one. Yes, free motioned. And this is the last one I did out of the whole book, so I was really good by then. Really good. Anyway, so that is, um, that is, I think all of we, we ready for the sew along. I know you're ready. So I did pre-record a whole demo of the first part. So that's all in a separate video and we're gonna play that. So we're gonna play the video and then answer all your questions afterwards. I have all the steps that I did in the video. So ready to talk about them. And so this, of course, so along is meant for you to watch it and then go do it later. And then you can go back to this video and just play it in parts and pause and do whatever you want. But I totally recommend that you just watch this one one time because remember in all the patterns, they tell you to read through the whole pattern first and then go and start. So this is kind of the same thing. Watch the whole thing first before you start. So it's not meant for you to sew along with me uh, per se. So um, the first part, I had talked about that last week and before, of course you have to cut out all your fabric pieces according to the pattern. 